that's one of the answers we're looking for, right? That's one of the things we were asked to calculate. Answer. Okay, a couple of things. This is something that students get often wrong. Okay, you don't need to worry about the sign, positive or negative, as long as you say what's going on. So a perfectly, a perfectly good way to answer this, right? It'll be just as correct as this one here would be to say. Work is 108 kilojoules per kilogram. Means an to argon or to my system or to whatever. Okay, this is perfectly valid too. So then you don't need to worry about the sign. Okay, you're telling, you're showing whoever is evaluating you that you understand what's happening, and you don't worry about positive or negatives. Okay. So we know the total amount of energy going in. The next thing we need to know is the total amount of energy by which my argon is increasing, right? So my internal energy. Is it going to be, you know, um, 50? If it's 50, then we have heat leaving. Is it going to be 200? If it's 200, then we need heat going in to account for the difference, right? So the next step is, where are we on our game plan? Where's our game plan? Here's our game plan. Okay, we found out what is P2. We found out T2. We just calculated the work. Next step is... What is internal energy? So, uh, just to remind you, C sub V is defined as the change in internal energy with respect to temperature, right? So what we're going to do is C V D T equals D U. We're going to integrate here and here. This is going to give you my difference in internal energy, and this is where we're going to have to approximate this guy to be a constant, right? Because as you, as I just noted with the table, we don't have a specific table for argon to be able to get the values of 283 and 387 yep and then um get the, the mean value between the two so i'm going to go ahead and say this is a constant value for the sake of solving this problem okay so if i want my difference in internal energy lowercase then i'm going to have to use my c sub v which is here is it c sub v here it is 0.3122 Point thirty one twenty two difference in temperature three hundred and eighty seven point seven minus two hundred and eighty three. So let me put to my lowercase. Up to you. Unit wise, what we have is I have kilojoules per kilograms per kelvin, and I'm multiplying that by kelvin. Okay, so these go away, and I'm left with kilograms per, kilojoules per kilograms, which is the same unit of our work, right? This gave me. 32.69, so 32.69 kilojoules per kilograms. Okay, and that allows us, lowercase, right, lowercase. And that now and allows us to complete our analysis, finally, right? Because now I know exactly the amount of internal energy by which my argon is increasing as it's receiving that work. And it's 32.69. So, here we are again. We are giving... 108 over here, and this guy here is increasing its internal energy by 32. Okay, we cannot create or destroy energy, so this extra bit of energy that's given, being given to the system needs to leave in the form of heat. So I can be 100% sure that heat is not entering my system, is it instead leaving. And the amount that's leaving is a difference between the 108 and the 32. Okay, so to finish, okay, done. So to finish this off, <clears throat> The amount of heat has to be the work that was done to my system minus whatever was used up by my system to increase its internal energy. All right, that's why you figure out by doing the analysis. So therefore, the heat leaving this uh, leaving the system is 108.9 minus my 32. I'm gonna say 32.7. Make it simple. Okay, approximate the value. Um, they're both in kilojoules per kilograms, so no worries there in terms of, you know, not being able to to um, well, sum them up or subtract them. And this gives me 76.2 kilojoules per kilograms. Okay, and that would be our answer, the amount of heat. And then obviously you need to say, okay, leaving... Leaving is fine, all right? So that's the amount of heat leaving. 
what's the other way to calculate this? Well, <clears throat> you know, I don't really like doing it, but let's say you didn't do any analysis and you're just trying to figure out how to calculate this from scratch. Well, you're going to have, from this equation here, you're going to have the Q will be just equal to your delta U plus your work. Okay, in this case here, Q is going to be the 32.7 minus, because you have the negative work there, if you're using signs, which I don't like you to do, but that's going to happen. And then you're going to have Q equals negative 76.2 kilojoules per kilograms. Okay, so there, that's negative, it's telling you that the heat is leaving, but I'm always in favor of you guys doing your analysis, understanding exactly what's happening, and then being able to give an answer, regardless of positives or negatives, actually saying what's happening, so that you show you understand. Okay? So, without further ado, hope this was useful. If it was, consider liking this video. If you have any questions after this, just leave them down below in the comment section, and we'll talk soon.